Todd with the reads and files, an update on the current situation within the new IFB. According to the private parent chat, Steve Anderson claims, I punished my children severely. When he found out they had been involved in a private chat group, considering Anderson's penchant for suddenly flying into a violent rage as he can be seen in many of his online sermons, any normal person would be concerned for the safety of his children. When the reason files was sent private text messages that took place between Corbin Russell, who is Stephen Anderson's deacon and now former member of Anderson's Faith Reward Baptist Church, our fears were soon realized. According to Russell, Anderson, quote, beat the hell out of my boys, unquote, and, quote, he literally beat his son, unquote. There is no doubt that Stephen Anderson did not spank his sons, nor did he swat his sons, but rather did exactly what Russell said he did. Stephen Anderson beat his children. According to Arizona Revised Code, Title 13, of the Criminal Code, Chapter 36, Section 13, 36, 32, abuse is defined as in the affliction of physical injury, of the infliction of serious damage by an individual who has the care and custody and control of a child. And a child is defined as an individual under 18 years of age, if this child abuse is done intentionally or knowingly, it is a class four felony. Nor is Steve Anderson the only new IFB passer who beats his children. His former star student, Jonathan Shelley, now pastor at Steadfast Baptist Church in Fort Worth, does the same thing and teaches his congregation to do it as well. instruction and thine ears to the words of knowledge withhold not correction from the child for if thou beatest him with the rod he shall not die thou shalt beat him i don't know how bad of a beating a one-year-old has to take that they uh, they're not able to walk straight or they're not able to develop walking correctly until later um, but it it couldn't have been a beating that the kid deserved not at one what kind of man does that to his own child? I don't even know. Even another child, a one-year-old. It's disgusting. I don't want your kids to go to hell. You got to beat them. You got to train them. You got to chasten them. You got to scourge them. First, from my own testimony, I've seen Shelly slap his own kid in the face, full power at church, in front of everybody. Um, another time, I saw his kid fall down at a, outside of a restaurant, looked at his mom, and Shelly, you know, came to pick him up, and you saw the kid go from crying to freeze, like an animal scared that a predator was gonna was gonna eat him. I know one of his boys came to church for a, for a while with a broken limb. It's not a suggestion. I thought verse fourteen, "Thou shalt beat him." That's the same as all the other Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not commit adultery. The same one. Thou shalt beat him. But more than just my testimony, the, uh, the contractor that did work on that guy's house told me that that, that guy, he was surprised that CPS wasn't going to come and take that guy's kids because he just would beat them all just so badly. You know how you could squash rebellion in the public school today? Take the rebellious one out and stone him. I bet they'd shape him up pretty quick. I, and we see, unfortunately, our society is cont continually destroying itself because of all of these rebellious, arrogant, prideful teenage jerks that just don't want to hearken to their parents. Right. You know what? And God said they should be put to death. The guy that's the lazy gamer. I don't want to get a job. I just want to play video games all day and drink alcohol with my buddies. That guy should be put to death care of it. And if you're a stubborn and rebellious child, you better be careful every single step you take.
Title V of the Texas Family Code, Chapter 261, Section 261.001, classifies child abuse as a physical injury that results in substantial harm to the child or the genuine threat of substantial harm from physical injury. It also includes the failure to make a reasonable effort to prevent any action by any other person that results in physical injury that result in substantial harm to a child. Reason files out.